What is going on guys? This is Basco Show the Average Player. Yeah, welcome back to Russian Legends video. Today I'm gonna give you my five best tips to do any fusion in the game without wasting resources, without wasting your gems. And if you do these tips, you're gonna do fusion like a pro. Let's jump right into it. So the fusion started almost um, two days ago and I haven't collected any fragment yet. And I'm gonna explain you why. My number one tips is trying to do multiple events or tournaments at once. So I'm waiting for this dungeon diver to start so I can start grinding the dragon tournament. I only done a few points on the first day, but now I'm waiting for the dungeon diver. So once the dungeon diver is going to come up, I'm going to finish this dragon tournament. I'm going to get all the way to probably the epic books and then I'm going to stop. And I'm also going to use a one man team. That means I'm going to bring four food. And that means I'm also going to grind the champion training tournament. And with all the CV that I'm going to do, I'm going to complete this artifact engagement. So I don't want to bring my bank now, trying to get silver. I'm just going to wait, farm those pieces and do all this farm at the same time. My tips number two is always check the calendar. You can save the calendar on your desktop and you can use it and check it as many times as you want. As you can see here, we have this uh, dragon tournament that is going to end up on Sunday and we have a dungeon divers that are going to start soon. And we're also going to have a nice golem tournament that's going to start after the dragon tournament. That means that once I complete this dragon tournament, I'm going to stop at 2700 points and then I'm going to wait for this ice golem to start so I can complete the dungeon divers and also the ice golem tournament. So I'm not going to waste uh, my resources. So now I'm afraid that maybe some of you already done the dragon tournament and the dungeon divers are not even start. So the only way to complete the dungeon divers now is to do ice golem for you guys and then maybe do spider and it's just a waste of energy. Most of the time the dungeon divers they align with two dungeons tournament. So always check your calendar. So my tips number three is trying to build a solo dungeon farmers or a duo team if you're able to bring three or four food to your runs you're gonna save tons of energy because you're gonna make food and then you're gonna use those food during the champion trainings even and tournament and you're not gonna waste extra energy or extra bruise to level up this champion this is basically free energy now you don't have to do stage 10 if you can do it you can start with stage 25 i know some people they love to run stage 20 or stage 15 or stage 7 for energy efficiency i'll suggest everybody to do stage 25 or stage 10 or stage 6 of harmon the reason why is because you also want to get good gear so if you do stage 25 you can get good gear and if you do hard mode you're gonna get good gear if you do stage 20 you yes gonna do fast run you're gonna do your full champions but you're not gonna get the gear and at the end of the day why waste 3000 energy and then have all crap gear that you're gonna put in the bin and you're just gonna make silver of it so always trying to run the hardest dungeon that you can by doing a solo or duo strategy there are plenty of strategies that you can use. Some are like free to play, other ones are pay to win. But there are, I have a bunch of those strategies on my channel. I used to a uh, three men, they spot the 10. For the ice golem, I can do a one solo strategy on stage seven, or I can do a four man team for stage 10, or I can do a very reliable team of stage 25 by soloing the boss in around two minutes. My tips number four, it will be for the opening shard events or tournaments. Basically, you're going to have the summer rush and we're going to have the champion chase tournament. Now, in the summer rush, guys, avoid opening Asian shards. It's not worth it. You literally need 170 Asians to get to these fragments. It's not worth it. During the summer rush, you need to open voids. That's what I usually do. I open 20 voids and I'm able to get to this fragments or I open 15 segues because I want to also get all those goodies here the legendary books that are very very important so if I have 15 segues I just go for it regardless of uh, 10 times 15 times I don't care you can have as many champions you can have as many legendary champions uh, in your account but if you don't have the legendary books you're not gonna use them properly so trying to focus on legendary books also so what I do 
a few weeks before the fusion start we have a fusion every month so you know that after we finish this fusion they're gonna be a week where you can just relax and then after that you need to start grinding shards for the next fusion now i open up all my voice for narcissus so i'm not gonna use my voice this time i'm not gonna use my ancients now i'm gonna use them during the championships tournament but i'm gonna use this sacred that i saved up for this event there was the archer 10 times uh, last week and i know a lot of people went for it i didn't go all in on it i only opened three sacreds i tried and i kept it because i knew that i needed 15 in order to complete the some rush and get the fragments plus the legendary books and obviously because i need to wait for the double legendary from uh, sacreds tomorrow i haven't opened them yet so i have to wait and then for the champion chains tournament i'm gonna open around 60 to 70 or maybe 80 ancients depends how lucky i am i'm uh, around 40 now i believe that in the next six seven days because the champions chase tournament is gonna start next week i'm gonna have around 60 to 70 ancients i can get them from dungeons i can get them from the clan boss I can get them from this tournament so i believe i can get to around 60 and then i can use some gems if i need more or i can summon some of these legendaries and also i'm gonna summon the epics for the fusion next weekend basically hopefully i'm gonna have two of those and that's already 500 points and the championship tournament is gonna be a walk in the park so just remember guys summon a rush try to use void and secrets or even mystery shards if you have tons champion chase tournaments use your asians or use your fragment summons or use the fusion itself if you can my tips number five is related to save your resources and it's gonna talk about energy as you can see here i got four thousand and almost 200 energy i'm waiting for the dungeon diver to start and what i did i claimed the energy from the cvc personal reward that was 2800 energy i kept the energy in my mailbox for almost the total end i had like five hours and then i claimed them and then by doing dailies in the last two days i got an extra uh, 1300 energy that's why i got this energy so trying to put all your energy into your mailbox if you know the refusion is about to start now we also have this uh, nice filter as part of the eight. I used to have a bunch of energy right here that I claim. And then I still got energy and other things. See, this energy here is all energy that comes from events and tournament. I let them come all here and then I claim them all together. And also, as you can see, I haven't claimed my energy on this uh, Soul Chase tournament. I haven't claimed the energy from this uh, Fusion Warm Up event. And this is going to allow me not to waste gems for energy. I never buy energy with gems, guys. Never, never, never. I always use my gems for the Asians. That's it. So, guys, these were my five best tips to do fusions. I've been doing fusion for over four years. I haven't skipped a fusion since I skipped the Bracus uh, when I first started playing the game. And these are the best tips that I can give you so take your time use your heads use your calendar and you're gonna see the difference you're gonna see that you're gonna have more resources you're gonna see that you don't have to use your gems you don't have to use your money and you don't have to think anymore should i do this fusion or should i not because you're always gonna have the resources available to do every fusion i'd rather have a fusion champions in the vault than on ever at all because if one day that champion is gonna be useful you still have the chance to grab him from the vault so guys if you have any questions let me know in the comment section below i hope you guys are gonna have an amazing weekend and i'll see you soon with another video see ya